Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. It's tech on this Thursday morning and our topic today is healthcare and technology bridging the gap, which is exactly what our guest today has done or is doing. Data analyst and tech expert Tony Harry, who has worked with the Nigeria Health Watch and at the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC. It's great to have you, Tony. You're welcome. Yeah, really great to have you. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting because you saw a need in the health yeah. industry and you decided to do something by yourself and meet the need. Tell, 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 me, tell me about the story. How did you know there was a need and how are you going about meeting it? Okay, so I mean, it all started in, in 2019 when I, I had um, Dr. Um, Ifayin Sofo, where I worked in Nigeria Health Watch. Basically, he had this TED talk where he talked about um, health insurance and how like um, one, one major health illness might, might, might um, take you into poverty in Nigeria. Mm. And that really sparked a whole lot in, in me. I was like, okay, fine. He has talked about the problems. Where are the solutions? How can we actually solve these problems? Mm. I mean, if this is the solution for like how many years since 19, 1940 when uh, insurance came into Nigeria, mm. right? I mean, how, is there any other way to actually change these things? And then um, I, I, I really wasn't happy with, 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 the, with the narrative of um, Nigerians are the problem when it comes to health insurance, always our beliefs. So the question is like, if, if there's, probably there's, there's, there's an underlying layer Because for many people, blood of Jesus is enough <laughs> health insurance so, so, for them. So, so they might say blood of Jesus, but it might be, oh, probably poverty you mm, get. So, mm. And for excuses, I mean, they can't really take care of, of... For example, when you actually have an illness, you don't really, as in, you're really thinking about how much you have in your account and everything. I mean, the easiest way to just, just look at it is like, oh, the blood of Jesus can actually help me. So, mm. I mean, I strongly feel is is more about like the economics of things, like economic determinants of healthcare itself mm. in Nigeria than about, um, let's like say, religion. Okay. So, I'm, I'm I'm actually trying to see, I'm actually trying to see how like people can look at um, the customer feedback because I, I look at all these things as, as feedback. You get, I mean, you're getting feed, you're getting feedback from Nigerians for over a year, as in like more than. 10 years telling you, okay, fine, we don't, we don't want health insurance. We don't want like, the type of health insurance. And then you look at it, that, I mean, less than 5% of Nigerians have health insurance. I mean, you're looking at 1% or like for, for private um, health, um, sorry, private, private health insurance. Mm. You're looking for 0.1 for community health, um, based health insurance. And then between, between two to, two, uh, say three to 4% for like NHIS, right? And then, I mean, it's, it's amazing that Nigeria is, Nigeria, Nigeria is trying, right, in its own, in its own way. 4%. <laughs> nah, so, I, think I mean, so. I mean, I mean they're, they're trying to make um, social, health in, um, social health insurance, like, mandatory for all Nigerians. But okay. the question is about sustainability. Mm. You get, I mean, do they have the capacity to actually make sure this works for everybody? And, like, one particular issue about healthcare is equity, right? I mean, health, health equity, I mean, would it be equal for both the poor and, and also the rich? Mm. Because... Um, looking at trends, you can see that, I mean, if, if someone is less educated, the person has, like, um, a propensity for poor, poor health, okay. the person will not be able to, like, assess healthcare, or the person might not really understand the importance of healthcare. Of healthcare. So, right. we're looking at both, like, oh, is the government working to actually increase, will I say, um, like, children in school? Because they will grow up and then learn more about healthcare. Yeah. So, how yeah. are you, yeah? So, via technology, how are you, or how did you get into... Uh, meeting that particular need via technology. All right, so luckily I, I got a scholarship and I went to um, study in Coventry University in the UK and then um, I proposed like a solution, a pro just a solution for retirees because I mean, like, like we all have parents who are getting older and we always wonder like, would we have to always pay for healthcare bills, right? I mean, so basically started with, with thinking about, okay, can, can people have like a fund where they, they pay at least 10 years before they retire, to actually have a fund to take care of their health care post-retirement. That was the first thought before actually examining um, the, the beverage model, right, which is like the taxation model in the UK and how it actually works there and how probably if, if, it, if it's transferred to Nigeria, how it might not really work because the taxation system is really, is really um, crazy here because, mm. I mean, you do... Who pays tax? I mean, people mm. pay tax. Yeah, people pay. I understand but, it. Yeah, but, understand but, it's, but, but in the UK, it's more like it's, it's more like a joint thing. They're happy to pay tax, but they're seeing what's the benefits, going, the benefits. Yes. So, I mean, if that was the case for Nigeria, a taxation system would work, but it won't. Okay. Right? So, I mean, I looked at that. I looked at the micro health insurance, right? I mean, people like Wella Health and some other um, um, insurance companies are doing the same. But, I mean, when I looked at that, you, you see that they're more, they're in for the gain you get. It's more about, oh, 
how much do you get, get, uh, get um, in, in the end? So, for example, there was this tweet by Wella Health saying um, we have reduced our, our premiums, mm. right? Um, come and use us. We, we, we are your MAGA. Mm. Yeah, I had to mm. screenshot that because I was like, you're telling the Nigerian um, population that, I mean, we are using your head. Mm. You know what I mean? Because exactly. we always need to get money. So, basically, when I looked at that, I was like, are there other models which can actually fit into the Nigerian system? So, then I looked at the fact that um, we have... Um, we actually pay electricity bills like via subscriptions, right? Okay. We pay subscriptions. We, uh, we, we pay uh, Netflix, for example, it's subscription based. And then we are more of, we, we actually pay for what, what, what once we get. You get what I mean? So it's more like a value based thing we, as a Nigerian, really like. Okay, so where does the <laughs> technology come in? Because if we are not done now, you'll come back next week and complain about yeah. how does the technology, how did you meet that need with technology? So we um, created an app. Okay. Right? I mean, I mean, the app basically is to help people get um, preventive, more, more preventive methods you get to actually take care of their health because we don't go just to create creative. Okay. So it's so preventive. Yeah. So, so how does the technology come in? How do you, how, what does the app do? So the app actually um, gives people access to different preventive methods. For example, I mean, if, if you're someone who is trying to, um, what do you call it now, it's trying to take care of your, your personal, like, like, like your feeding, you want to actually mm, eat mm, well. Your nutrition and like all nutrition, of that. Nutrition, there can be a subscription for that. Like okay. For a year or for, for, for a month. So what does the app, does it suggest what you do or what you eat? No, with time, we'll okay. do that because the whole of data analysis has, has to go into that. For mm. example, we're thinking like in the future that, I mean, with different data points, right, we can mm. actually start um, like giving people personalized healthcare advice. You get what I mean? So, I mean, if you check probably, BM, for example, BMI, um, blood pressure and everything. Yeah, you can yeah. actually understand, okay, fine, will this guy have heart disease later on or something? Oh, okay, so, that, so the... the, the it, advertising. Kind of, okay. To where, so, I mean, but for now, we're actually testing out, like, um, with, with, like, a pharmacy in, in, in Abuja, um, okay. Remedics. I mean, they have been really kind to actually say, okay, fine, let's test this out. Mm. And we have, like, 10 people on our wait, wait list. Okay. Who we're trying to test it out with. So we're looking at both preventive and curative, right? Wonderful. So, so you can impute details, like you said, your BMI. You can yeah. put the body mass and all of that, and then it, the, uh, the app can predict so, your susceptibility to something. Yeah, to that, that would be like more, more iterations because mm. what we try to do is like, we're trying to create products and services for that Nigerians to use. So that, I mean, instead of having an insurance plan that has a whole lot of services, right, mm. we're breaking it down and okay. focusing on each service to make sure that it's actually, um, is needed by Nigerians, one, and also is actually quality. Mm. Because those are very, very, uh, very, very key um, places we have, to, we have to work on, especially mm -hmm. access as well. So, and then this will actually help us give the pharmacy or give the vendor, like, um, real feedback okay. on how to actually um, make, make the system work. And probably in the future, we can be able to, uh, to influence things like price. Wonderful. I like yeah. this. We might have to continue next week. <laughs> no but problem. the app is called? Health. Health. Yes, Just health. -E -L -T. I mean, L -T. that's how Nigerians pronounce health okay so i mean wonderful wonderful yeah. we'll probably talk more about that i mean sure. get to see uh, how the app works and all about sure. how we can take advantage sure. of technology but great one you're doing there yeah uh thank you for meeting the need thank all right you so wonderful much. all right